Cheers, Brian. Oh, why, Cheers. Why are you so sad? Because I don't have my <laughs> Contigo mug. I have this E-Cycle Aladdin whatever. I hate it. It's plastic and it does not retain heat at all. He has to take a break from metal things. He has a nickel, technically mercury, nickel sensitivity. A mercury or sensitivity. Or mercury. I got heavy metals. I got too much heavy metal in my body. <laughs> so I... <laughs> oh, wait. This is right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, you should know by now. Um... But uh, no, I, I, we, we had last week off, which, Spring break. you know, Drew and Andy and Zippy held it down last week. Mm -hmm. So you got to meet some of them, which was pretty cool. That was part of the, the whole deal with right now is that we could keep it going even if we're gone. So that's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I went to see our nutritionist while we were up there and uh, yeah, got a bunch of food taken away. Oh, you, got, you got on a some game things. plan, fresh start. That's it's right. Good. Fresh kick in the pants on like helping my, my health habits get yeah. back on track. Which is good. It's good. It's great. It's good. So excited. Anyway. We have some things. We do what have do you some want pens. to talk about first? Let's talk about, uh, we got a couple different things. So uh, the two things that we have to talk about is we got the new Pelican M600 white turquoise. This came turquoise in while white. we were gone and I wanted one and Brian decided he had to have one too. Once I saw, once I saw the actual pictures of the actual pens. Well, I haven't seen like it. I, in, I haven't seen it in real life. So this okay. will be a true unboxing That's here. true. Actually, this will be unboxing for both Rachel and I because we were gone last week of the M600 and the new Faber-Castell Loom colors, mm -hmm. which we also, our team saved this for us. No, I did see those before we left. You did? I did. Well, it's an unboxing for me. I haven't seen them yet. Spoiler alert, they're all shades of gray. <laughs> well, you know, that's all right. In and my then, opinion. Uh, Rachel's going to ink up her pelican. Yeah. So and you brought some other pelicans, I see. I and did. And you brought your loom. Look at that. I, You're all prepared. I, yes. Rachel thinks about these things. By the way, it's Hawaiian shirt day here at Gilead Pens. Rachel didn't get the memo. It was snowing this morning, guys. <laughs> yeah. It was it more was important snowing. to me to be warm than to wear well, like the enough. only Hawaiian. I don't even have anything Hawaiian. I have like floral, but it's like tank dress thing. I'm like, no, I'm not wearing that yeah, today. Yeah, you don't need to wear that. It's going to be like 80 degrees later in this week. It's snowing I today. I know. It's going to be amazing. Virginia is very confused. But All right. Anyway. So you get your little Ooh, look at that. Book. The nice lace up thing. The thing I like How do you about, feel about the lace? okay, I like this better than the one that came with the pink. The pink was <laughs> literally it was literally lace tied up. with like this big belt, like a corset, and I just felt you had dirty to like unstring it, yeah. Opening it was a little it. weird. It was a little awkward. <laughs> they they stopped doing it after that one. Yeah, so this is just a really. straight up open. Yeah. So here you go. Ooh, I like it. See, if it had leaned a little more green, I probably would have been able to resist it, but because it's it's like a pretty true. There were some pictures turquoise. online that were definitely off. Yeah. But we checked our, our pictures before we launched. It's pretty accurate. Oh, Hello, that's pretty, Rachel. That's pretty all right. I love the turquoise. Yeah. The white isn't my favorite, you know. It, it goes really well with Just because I'm a girl though. doesn't mean I like white. Um, Is that a girl thing? I don't know. Can't guys why? like white? It's a neutral well, color. Well, tell me, why do they keep making it? I mean, it looks good. Okay, the pink is obviously a right. slightly more effeminate, but you know, nothing wrong with either of them. Black would have looked would have been nice too. Black with the turquoise. The gold, cool. the golden. Turquoise. But that would have looked too tradit. That would look like yeah. too much like a normal. The pen. golden turquoise are nice together. It's There's my classic. broad nib. Look at that broad. Yeah. So Rachel's a fan of the broad nibs. I actually don't have any pelican broad. Now you do. Which is mm -hmm. exactly. So even though we're going to have exactly matching pens, you talk about it so much, you got me hyped on it. What can this I say? This one is not, I need like a good light. It's not as translucent as some of the other ones. Like I can't really? see the piston. As, maybe I just don't have the right light. Fair enough. Fair enough. I can't see the piston moving. No? No, I do. It's right there. Yeah, it's in there. It's, it's not it's as translucent as some of the other ones. Like this one, I can definitely see a lot more. Oh yeah, well. It's as translucent as any of the striped ones, I think. Okay, so now I gotta fill it. Okay, so you fill it. I'm gonna unbox these. So I'm gonna these try this Gravity rooms. Wave, which is launching tomorrow, guys. Hey oh. Launching, get it? Ha! Ah, launching. <laughs> Including the uh, Voyager. Which the timing, the timing just worked out well. We're getting our first shipment of color We got it. We got it in. We're we got it in. Yeah, tomorrow. we're waiting to launch. We got it. Time. We got to do all the samples and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need like a napkin or paper towel or something because. Uh, you know. There you go. Or oh. that great. All right. So I'm putting on my looms. So there's three new Weber Castell loom colors. Um, metallic olive, which is kind of like a goldish color. And then we it's got like the, a, It's olive green. But yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of bronzy. Yeah. There's gray and then there's uh, what do they call this one? Light blue. 
which they're not like life-changingly different from each other. It's not like you need need to have all of them, but they're pleasant. Versus like, yeah, and you notice the they all have like, the piano finish. They do. Versus the old So they're like the shiny finish. body as opposed to the matte. So this one doesn't exist anymore. That one's gone. And there's your gun metal. There you go. So this is now the current lineup of the Faber Castell Loom. Ta-da. And I did want to feel the weight of them. They feel a little bit lighter. I think they've changed. They are lighter. We, we did um, weigh them. Yeah, they are lighter. Okay. It was a whole, a whole conversation. It was a whole thing. I knew that the, the, the gunmetal one is significantly lighter. But that even that feels lighter than, than these other ones. I don't know how these two feel. I'll have to check the measurements. Can I abbreviate CV I for Colorverse? I think that's the um, Already starting the day. Nice. I don't have like a pen. I think I do have a pen inked up. I got my trusty standby here. Ooh, Rachel. Oh, that looks good. Wow. Was this, oops. That broad is pretty awesome. I gotta admit, I'm pretty pumped. So this is Rachel, this is your favorite nib, right? Yes, I love the broad. broad, yes. There was good. a conversation on Gule Nation. There's tons of conversations yeah. out there, which, which by the way, is our Facebook group. If you're not a member, you just definitely should join. Yeah, check it's it out. There's like 4,000 people in there now. It's, very it's awesome. Um, someone started a poll about what is your grail pen that doesn't, ex your fantasy grail pen that doesn't exist yet. Okay, I've been asked that. Ooh. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people talk about like a Macrolon vanishing point or a demonstrator vanishing a point. A demonstrator Lamy 2000. Or a Viscani lava. Vanishing point. A vanishing point came up a lot. I said a Rodden M600. Ooh, that would be good. I know. They've done Rodden M1000s. Never done the 600. That's true. This is a pretty color. It doesn't match perfectly, but it's still a really nice turquoise. Got a little bit of the sheen starting to come out. Gravity um, Wave is a sheener. Got some nice shading too. So this is uh, the Saturn. So what I what I heard a little more about Colorverse is mm -hmm. the Series One. Yeah. Which is not like a limited edition series. The name's a little mm -hmm. off, but um, yeah. there are, a lot of them are good shaders. Mm. And then Series Two are good sheeners. Okay. And then Series Three just get crazy with like you know the with small like shimmer and, and, all and the pigmented stuff. and stuff like that. So which one is the Saturn Five? That is part of the Series One, so that's more of a shader. Yeah, I can see that. It's not as deeply saturated. Whereas I got this is more fine, of a sheener. I got in a fine nib here, and I can see some in this. This cardstock is not like the best for bringing out shading. No. Not as much as like a rodeo or something like that. Guys, but this is so smooth. Good. It's like buttery smooth. Have you written with this? Here, let me finish my uh, writing. Not this exact pen, but you, no. You need to. I've written with your M600 before. You need to experience this again. I'm excited about experiencing it for myself with my pen. You like how she says you need to experience this and then just continues to write. Well, I couldn't. Makes me she wait. I had to finish the card. You could come back to the card. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's like butter. Yeah, especially for doing things like this, like signing note cards, right? Like this is one of the, actually one of the ways we use pens the most around here. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, losing control a little bit there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what do you think this is again? Gravity, Gravity wave. <laughs> wow, okay. I can't write and talk at the same time. That's what happened right there. I was trying to write and talk and I got confused. So it's kind of like cubbler blurfs. Whoever, anyway. whoever's the lucky recipient of this card will figure it out. That feels pretty epic. So I love this. The more I hold it and look at it, I really like the color. <laughs> <laughs> it writes so well. It's good. It's good. I think it's like at home good. You know what I mean? Like you know, Wait, you got, what is at home good? Well, mean? so it's like it's like a retail term. That's like some As things. Like versus like out good. No, it's like some things are. Let me explain. Because you're confused. <laughs> So some things really? look really good in the store or look really good online oh. and you buy it and you get it and you're like, uh, okay, it's not quite as good as what I hoped. And so uh, at home good means like once you actually have it and use it, that it's as good or better than you were anticipating. So, I think this is exactly what I was anticipating well, because you knew, I knew I would you knew like what it. You were getting. Yeah. And I haven't, I so haven't I written with these in a while yeah. to remember just how much I love this nib. This really is my favorite nib of everything. I think we've said it like several times. No, not just broad in general, like this that, particular, that, the M600 broad is my favorite. Okay. Fair enough. Put it out there. It's pretty great. Have you ever written with like an M800 broad or an M1000 no. broad? No, it's too big for my hand. 
This okay, is, this is fair enough. See, the M800 is like the perfect size for my hand. Yeah, and it's I got a little more weight to it. As we've discussed before, we've demonstrated before, we do not have the same the size hands. in hand sizes is ah! slightly different. Um, but yeah, I don't have an M1000 though. I'm just saying. Well, they need to come out with like a special edition that. I know. If they come out like, with a blue M1000, like, like a, a special like, one, like, like a, a vibrant blue type vibrant thing, vibrant blue or blue or blue or something like that, then I'm just done for. Yeah, I don't want to get you a regular edition if there's a special coming. Yeah, but and I would have... get like a double broad. I'd get something ridiculous. Yeah, because it's a ridiculous you pen. Anyway, happy Monday, everybody. Yes, indeed, it's good to be back. <laughs> I'm going to be going to the Atlanta Pen Show this coming weekend with Drew. Uh, with Drew, I think the plan. We're flying out Wednesday, like around lunchtime. Mm -hmm. I think. I gotta confirm with Drew because I haven't talked to him in a week. But uh, I gotta confirm with Drew. I think we're still gonna shoot right now on Wednesday morning. Oh, I thought I was gonna do it. Well, you can do it too. I don't know. We we'll figure it out. Again. Yeah, we can do a party. Oh, I was thinking this would be my know. opportunity to guest host. Oh, you could maybe. I don't know. I'll talk to Drew. <laughs> Either way, now you don't know what's gonna happen on Wednesday. But it'll leave you in anticipation. Somebody will right? be doing something on Wednesday. Yes. All right. Yeah, so Everybody? he will be in Atlanta this weekend. Yeah, so if you have a chance, if you're nearby, be sure to come by. We'll be hanging out with Mark Bacchus. I'll be home with the kitties. Yeah, that'd be great. Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a wonderful Monday. And right, right on. on.